What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually captured two new Pokemon, Hotshot and Shedder, and we went into the Pokemon Trainers uh, Battle Hall, I don't even know. Let's see, I'm gonna read it right here. Hold on, let me see. Yes, the Battle Company. And uh, now it is time to take another small tour of uh, Castelia City. Like I said, it's gonna be like maybe two or three episodes, maybe even more. Because it's such a big city. Now, Castelia City. Yes, the New York of uh, the of the Unova region. Now, if you go right here, this is the Royal Unova, and it's in preparation. We are working very hard to uh, re ready the ship for the best Pokemon trainers. Uh, you won't be able to go in there until after you defeat the Elite Four. And I mean after you defeat the Elite Four. Not, you know, defeat N like you did the last time and all that stuff. And, uh, let's see, there's quite a few, uh, halls, areas, neighborhoods, and all that stuff that we can, we can see. I'm just trying to go through every single pier right here, just to show you guys what, what, what's cool and all that stuff. Let's see, if you talk to this guy, Pansage, Panseer, and Pampaur are Pokemon that evolve with special stones. Which Pokemon did you, do you want to evolve? Of course, we do, or we did get the, uh, let's see, we got, yeah, we got Panseer, right? Yeah, we got Panseer. If you choose your elemental monkey... You will get an elemental stone, an element, elemental stone that you'll need right here. So as you can see, we got ourselves a fire stone, and uh, this guy's like, you might be, re or you might already know this, but I will give you some advice. When a Pokemon evolves, it will be more powerful, but it will be slower to learn a new move. This is especially true for Pokemon that evolve with stones. So it's up to you. You can have it learn a good move and then evolve it with a with a stone, or evolve it with a stone fast with a stand and uh, have have it learn a move with a TM, which, you know, more than likely I might be doing now that we got unlimited TMs and all that stuff. And uh, talk to this guy, stick up your thumbs and a curl in your fingers. This is the thumbs up pose. That means okay. Huh. In some places, it also means money. Okay, well, I, I don't I don't get you. Whatever. I don't know. So that's one item that you can actually get right there. And uh, crud. I have to get the other one. I have to get the other way around. Yes, right here, because I won't be able to get anywhere else. Alrighty, so, let's see. We already visited two piers. Let's go straight towards the middle pier and see what's up. In this episode, we're just going to be uh, touring the place, maybe battling a, a trainer here and there, maybe getting a dance group together. I don't even know. So, let's see. Um, this, okay, so that boat right there, that boat... That boat, I've had a question for a long, long time. So if you guys know exactly what this boat is, then, uh, you know, comment down below. Help uh, help good old Draven out, you know. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. That black boat, what could it be? Might be a Team Galactic, Team Plasma, I don't know, Team Rocket? It looks menacing. When someone is getting under your skin and you want to tell them, yell at them, scream at the ocean. When you're alone, of course. Oh, well, that is true, but, man, I used to live in a new... Yeah, I used to live... Yeah, we used to live close to the ocean at one point, so we've already visited that place, and let's go right here. Now, at one point, I actually thought that you could get your bike here, but I rem I realized that, no, this is not Pokemon Black and White 2. It's hilarious. People are quite different depending on where you live. It is quite surprising that the rules and ways of thinking are different just because uh, the places we, uh, we live are different. This is true, you know, like capturing... Uh, uh, all you Nova only Pokemon right here. Both Pokemon and people will meet their destined partner someday. I believe it because my sister who got married said so. Oh, well, true. That is pretty true. Now, if you can see this guy right here, he's like, I've seen, I've come to Castelia to have a da dancing lesson. Ah, well, true. A dance lesson and all that stuff. Okay, so... Let's see, where do we have to go next? Yeah, that guy is a part of being uh, dance partners and all that stuff. Now, this area right here, let's see, what is this one right now? Oh, the Passerby Analytics HQ. I haven't done anything with that place yet. I will show you guys pretty soon what, what goes on in there. And uh, let's see, I think this boat takes you somewhere far, right? It's, it is small compared to a luxury liner, but the size of the ship doesn't change the feeling of the adventure when you're out on uh, the open sea. I think this... I think this boat right here takes you somewhere far with a rare Pokemon. Could be wrong though. Ha ha ha. Strength is not uh, not in the size of the body, it's the size of the heart. Oh wow. It's that, it's that saying. It's not the size of the dog, it's the size of the... or whatever. I don't even know. It's just a stupid saying. Aren't Pokemon great? Even if they're fighting someone bigger than them, I'm up at them and... Well, I can't even read that one. Wow. 
yeah. I really don't, I really, I really suck at reading, guys. I'm really sorry. So let's just move on right here. Let's see. So let's go into this area. And uh, as you probably already noticed, the Castelia City Gym is right here. We won't be able to go in there just yet because, uh, yeah, there's, you know, there may be a trainer there, here, there, or an uh, event. And then, uh, let's see, what is it in this area right here? Ah, uh, there's nobody. Literally nobody here. So let's go upstairs and see what, what's up there. So let's see, floor to go. There we go. And uh, still, there's nobody in here. I'm kind of feeling like this place is haunted or something. Remember? The haunted house and all that stuff. Yeah, don't want to go there. So let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here before it really gets haunted. And, uh, yes. Okay, so what is next right here in Castelia City? So this is one building. I think we should get that dance team together. I don't even know. Alrighty, Castelia City, you are a big, big, big city. I'm gonna explore the hell out of you right now. So, once you go right here to the water fountain, you talk to this guy. He's like, hey trainer, show me your press, your your paces. Give me a whirl. Alright. A fight like it, or a fight is like a dance. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, guys. A uh, battle against Dancer Mikey. And he will be coming out with a pants age right here. Okay. You're looking all tough and everything, but here we go with uh, Drillmonger. I probably should switch my Pokemon right now. That's probably what it needs to be do. Well, needs to do right there. So let's go right here. Let's go right ahead and switch my Pokemon around. And, uh, oh crud. You gotta love that lead seed. Oh uh, crud. Okay, we got seeded and, uh, oh Jesus. Oh crud, okay. Alrighty, so let's go with that Fire Fang attack. Unfortunately, there's that razor sharp uh, fire swing or fire swipes. Fury swipes, I should say. Here we go! Fire Fang. Very physical Pokemon. If you guys don't remember, in the last walkthrough that I did, uh, Pokemon Black, or no, Pokemon Platinum, I, I've, you know, I'm learning a little more and more about physical and uh, special attacks and all that stuff. Alright, let, let's get down! And he's dancing, 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 look at that. How about that? Those were some smooth moves, no doubt, but it'd be even tighter if I had a group. Hey you, would you talk to other dancers? If you invite both of them, the three of us can get Groova as a team. Same outfit as me, that's the guys that, uh, that's the guys that dancer. Okay, well, now we have to find the dancers. Now what we're doing now, we're gonna actually, you know, explore just a little bit more right here and there. So, you know what, let's keep Drillmonger right there. And uh, let's go downstairs right here, see what we got. Alrighty, so let's see, ah, there's nothing here except for, oh wow, the, uh, let's see, what is this, finally get to eat it, oh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, yeah, the Castelia's, uh, Castelia cone closed during the winter, oh wow, never mind, so let's see, I haven't been in here, Cast the Studio Castelia, let's go right in here first, alrighty, let's see, oh yeah, look at that, Let's see. Uh, talk to this guy. I am not as good as an artist as Berg, but I have a liking for paintings. Let me see. Today, I'd like to paint a ground-type Pokemon, which I do have. Will you show me that kinds of Pokemon you have? And, of course, it, that has to be a ground-type Pokemon. Luckily for us, we got ourselves Drillmonger right here. And he's like, oh, you have the type? I'm inspired. Thank you. As a token of my gratitude, which one would you like? Well, he'll actually give us a berry here, and, uh... Well, you know what, uh, I don't think I have an Aspir Berry. So I'm gonna get an Aspir Berry. There we go. I think that kills our confusion or some sort. I don't even know. Okay. Aw, oh, you are the best. Please come back tomorrow, too. So he'll he'll be giving us berries every single day if we show him the type that, you know, he wants to see. And then, uh, let's see what we got. If you want to see Berg's paintings, go to the Pokemon Gym. Which we will. Alrighty. So that's one place that you can actually, uh, you can actually look at. And, uh, well, let's see. Move out of the way, homeboy. Man, just like the real New York City. It's just crowded, and people just call it talking crap at you. Don't want that, guys. And, uh, let's see. If you talk to this lady, see, the paddle company, we welcome trainers who are proud of their skills, which I've already been to. What is this? What does this say? Ahead. Narrow Street, Oceanside, Unity Pier, which I've already been to. Okay, so let's go right up here. And, uh, well, look at that. This is just, a. Uh, Uneasy hallway and whoa! 
Where did I get those sunglasses? Oh, damn. Look at this guy. He just popped out of nowhere. Ah, I found him. And you've really got... Or you really got to have more light uh, to see by your way. By the way, take this. It'll be help. It'll help you. Uh, it'll help you see in the dark places. Wait, how did? Oh yeah, flash. Yeah, it will help you. The flash technique and all that stuff. That's cool. If you use the move flash, the accuracy or the accuracy of an opponent's Pokemon goes down. When you move it twi or when you use it twice, the rate to uh, get hit by a move will go about a half because it means more light, which is cool. That's awesome. So, as you can see, there's a dancer waiting for us right there, but before we go in there, let's go in here. Let's go in here. The Cafe Sonata. Now, this place has a little bit of a significance. Uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. Is this... This is your first visit to the cafe, am I right? Am I correct? Please. Gives us a lemonade. That's not much of the significance right there, but lemonade is a lemonade right there. You talk to this guy. A beautiful melody makes people happy. A sad melody makes people sorrowful. That's the power of melodies, which is always good. And this guy right here is like, when I listen to this to, to his guitar, it reminds me of leaving home for the first time and the tears of farewell. My mother cried. Oh, that's sad. And then uh, what does this guy have to say? After a tiring day of work, this cafe is a perfect spot to let your mind relax. Now. It's not the lemonade that's the significance. It's the significance of an event right here. Um, Meliota, I believe that's what it's called. I could be wrong with the name, but yes, I tried the the event one time. If you have that specific Pokemon right here, there's a uh, you know a bunch of cool things that happen right there. And of course, we will be showcasing showcasing this in a in a separate episode of in the future right here for Pokemon Black. So moving on forward right here, let's go ahead and battle some more Pokemon trainers. This guy. Do you need something? What? You're looking for dance partners for a team? It sounds very interesting, but I don't want to do a favor for someone who isn't stronger than me. Hey, let's have a battle. Okay, let's begin. All right. Let's do this. You said I'm not strong. I am strong. I am the strongest in the world. Nothing's going to ever bring me down. Here we go. Coming with the Pampor. And, uh, well... Again, I am choosing the wrong Pokemon for this, but you know what? It's getting experience points while I was at it. So, let's go ahead and uh, switch out to Ace, the Wonder Dog. Before it evolves into Stoutland from Scotland. And, uh, look at that. Ace is looking all mustachioed and all that stuff. And here comes a Water Sport. You gotta love it. You gotta love the, 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 the mustachio part right there. And, well, I accidentally pressed Work Up. But, you know what? Let's go right ahead and use that... that that uh, boosted attack to beat everybody right here and uh, here comes a water gun jokes on you dogs love water some of them and here we go take down attack finish him yeah buddy yeah buddy look at that look at that and look at that that's right okay so that's a uh, he's like you're going to create a dance team aren't you it sounds very interesting I'd like to join up which is always great too so that is pretty much it right there for that guy, and, uh, well, hee hee hee. Okay. Uh, smirk. Uh, yeah, these guys are, I, I believe these guys are roughnecks or something like that. I don't even know. Okay, so that's another area fixed up, and I think we need to get to one more dance partner right here. So let's go ahead and find that, don that dance partner. So that's not right there. We've already been there. Castelia City Gym. I will destroy you pretty soon. And uh, who else? Who else? Okay, so what pier was it that we actually found this guy? I believe it's right here. Come on. Come on. Let's get it. Uh, let's see. Who? Oh, there he is. Okay, so there's the other guy that we need to find. What do you want? Oh, the dance team? You're going to introduce me to the team? Oh, then uh, before that, let's have a Pokemon battle. I was great. Uh, I was great in Pokemon lessons. Let's go. Okay, alrighty. Let's get this. So here we have another Pokemon trainer, another dance partner, and uh, he will be coming out with his pants here. I will, of course, come out with Drillmonger because Drillmonger is awesome, like always. And let's go with the Dig Attack. Finish this guy off. Alrighty. And, uh, well, he wants to do Incinerate right there, but it won't work. There we go. Dig Attack. Finish this guy off. Yes. I am awesome. I am great. And Drillmonger is also very, very great. So after defeating this guy, I believe... Yeah, that is like... was. What was that? 
Oh, the dance team? I will join the dance team. And there he goes. So after doing that, I think you're... You enabled yourself to get a present from one of these guys. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to be going straight back to them. And then finishing up the north northern part of uh, Castelia City. So let's just run, run. Nobody surprises. Look at that. It's pretty awesome. Alrighty. Okay. And uh, let's see. I believe it's the middle guy. Thanks, man. I've got the best team in the world here. That's how I feel. And he gives us uh, an amulet coin. Which, of course, you guys already know. We communicate by dancing. It's how we do... Oh, yeah. Sad things. Uh, how we do... Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever. And look at that. They're dancing. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Okay. So the amulet coin, as you guys already know, it will actually boost up the amount of uh, the amount of money you get every time you defeat somebody. And uh, I got a Pokemon for that. So we got two, maybe three areas that we need to go to. So before we do any of that, let's go ahead and give that uh, amulet coin to somebody here. Let's see. You know what? Ace. Ace needs an item. And, uh... Well, let's see. Now it's time... Well, actually, Drillmonger is about to grow to level 22. So, we'll, we'll just keep it right there for just in case. So, let's go inside this area. Inside this 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 big old place right here. Now, as you can see, I talked to... Uh, talk, I talked with a lot of people upstairs. It was fun. Okay. And I'm... Ev I'm invited to the party, but, but the person in front end of the elevator wants to pat me down. Or is it just my imagination? No, homeboy wants to pat you down. It's like, do you want to go up? I need to check you. Frisk, 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 frisk. And one more frisk. You don't seem to have this, anything suspicious. Okay, you can go up. Oh, wow. It seems, uh, seems to be like a very exclusive party. Very, very exclusive party. Okay, so let's go straight up to... Uh, 47 right here, and, uh, huh! Isn't that guy supposed to be in the dance team or something? I don't even know. Let's see what this guy has to say. Welcome to the, my party! Please enjoy conversations with everybody. Okay, alrighty. What does this guy have to say? Hey, trainer, check out my moves! Have you gone to, have you gone to the next year, uh, next city yet? I learned this, this move at the musical over there. Pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm. I thought you were gonna join the other team, but whatever. And, let's see. Each, oh god. This guy's talking in uh in uh, in German. Ich hab mir un or ich hab mir nun ein Auto Oh wow, I can't even pronounce these ones right here. Oh damn! See, I can speak a little bit of it, but I can't read it perfectly. So holy crud! Oh damn! Fu a fjör fjör Schweizfin Oh wow, I'm not even gonna pronounce that right there. Hello, have you tried uh Castellia Cone yet? I managed to buy one Tuesday, but it's very, very difficult to get. It's not even... Oh, wait. Is it Tuesday today? I don't even know. I really don't care. And did you see the dress the supermodel Elisa was wearing? Whatever Elisa wear is beautiful. A stunning ensemble. Ensemble. Damn. And then... My boyfriend isn't good at getting out of bed in the morning. In fact, he's so slow of getting out of bed that I asked his Pokemon to use Wake Up Slap for him. Oh, damn. So... <laughs> We've already met your boyfriend. Damn. That's a good girlfriend right there, guys. If she has your back, yeah, that's a good girlfriend right there. Okay, what do you have to say right here? Oh, your Pokemon are so charming. I want Kuyuki Pokemon too, so I can use this. And we get ourselves the TM45 Attract. It's always nice. Always nice. And uh, this move makes your Pokemon unbearably charming. All Pokemon of opposite gender will fall in love, which is good, I think. Uh, ciao, ti stai divertino? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, are you having fun? Non sentiriti in imbarazzo per la più con chi chivau? Wow. Again, uh, I do not want to make fun of anybody else's language. I am butchering the language pretty badly. Es la primera vez que vengo aquí, pero este precioso pa paisaje uh, hace que me siente como en casa. La próxima vez traeré a mis amigos. Oh, you're gonna bring your friends next time. Okay, so you guys already know I speak Spanish too. <laughs> it's hard to get up in the morning after a fun day like today. That's cool. And I've asked uh, my Pokemon to use Sing instead of getting uh, on the alarm clock, but I cannot get up at all. I don't know why. Gee, I don't know because uh, Sing puts you to sleep. Jesus. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this area right here. And um. 
Let's see, what is the next place to go to? I think we got like two more other places in, that we need to get to. We got a TM here and there, that's always good. And, uh, okay, so there we go. That's the other place. Let's see what this guy has to give us. Let's see, I think, let's see. Talk to this lady. I am the feeling reader. I've heard a lot of people take feeling checks using C gear. That's cool. If you talk to this guy, he's the official name reader. You can come here to change his nickname, which is pretty cool. And uh, you can't change the name of a Pokemon you got from someone else because the name contains wishes of the person who named it. That's cool. Very, very cool. Okay. So, uh, let's see. We're going to be moving up right here. And uh, let's go to the 11th floor. Okay. Oh, there's one more Pokemon trainer. Maybe. Yeah, I don't even know if that's a Pokemon trainer. Let's see. Uh, there's nobody here. Talk to this guy. I secretly invented a special machine. Only people who know the secret password can use it. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so this is the place where I have to give a, a secret password and stuff. Hold on, hold on. I'm going on the phone, guys. I am going on the phone. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see. I'm going on Bing. Bing, Bing, Bing. And Castelli. Hold on, hold on. Castellia. City. Pass. Password. Okay. Two separate words right here. Okay, let's see. Um, ah, here we go. Got it. I got it, guys. I got it. Okay, so let's see. Right here. I'm assuming it's people. We go with everyone. And then right here, you go with the feelings. And you go to happy. Because everyone is happy at some point. I don't even know. So there we go. Happy. And confirm that. And homeboy's like, there's more. Alright, let's see what the next one is. Uh, okay, so. Let's see, I'm assuming. Let's see. Stats, maybe? I don't even know. Let's see. I don't think there's a. I don't think the stat is named after that. Could be, I don't even know. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. There it goes. Simple. And. Crud, I need to open up my phone right here again. God dang it. God dang it. And. Oh, yes, here it is. Okay, so. Of course. It's right there in our faces. Connection. And, uh, no, no, wait, hold on. Confirm, and there you go. This is the password that will enable you to use the relocator I invented. It's a superb machine that will swiftly fetch a special Pokemon or item by connecting to a special network, which is basically the mystery item, or not mystery item, but uh, mystery gift. In, in Generation 5. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, my name is Mr. Locke. I'm a magical clown who can open anything. Your name is Draven. I'll see you again, I'm sure. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we will be seeing him very, 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 very soon at some point. I don't even know. Comment down below and let me t and tell me what this guy does. I don't know. <laughs> Going back to the first floor, I think we got one more area right here that we have to go to. So let's go right ahead and take care of business right now to the last area right here let's see right here I think we're gonna find uh, yeah a few items maybe maybe one or two items what kinds of abilities do your Pokemon have pretty cool abilities do you think it's a good idea to provide a service to raise Pokemon or trainers for trainers what there's a daycare at Route 3 yeah Wow, it took your idea right there I've been thinking about starting a new business but it's a, quite a chore what kind of chore is it? I don't even know. Talk to this guy. I'm a Pokemon fanatic. I am famous in Castalia too. Oh, look, you have a Pokedex. Well, how many Pokemon do you have so found? And I found 31. That's quite a Pokedex. I'm quite impressed. So I will give this to you. And we get ourselves an Eviolite, which powers up any Pokemon's special defense and defense. But they can't be fully evolved. So that's a, that's a, pretty, uh, that's a pretty awesome uh, thing right there. And, uh, well, let's see. We got one more place to go to. I promise you guys. One more place. Let's see. We're going to the 47th floor right here. And uh, there's this guy right here. He's waiting for something. I don't even know. Let's see. Talk to him. When I gaze down at the city from a tall building, I tremble. Because I'm scared of frights. Uh, heights. Shoot. Oh, damn. What the hell are you doing up here, man? Me? Oh, my. The badges you can uh, get in the Unova region. Want to hear about them? I think I already know. I don't want to know about this again. So that is, uh, that is, yeah, I think that's pretty much it right there for these guys. Okay, so 
yeah, we, we, we finished that thing off right there. So let's go right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Take care of that, take care of that. Oh, yes, now it is time for us to actually go straight to the Castilla City Gym and battle quite a few uh, gym leaders here and there. Maybe it's just a gym leader. Maybe it's just one gym leader. I don't even know. Okay, so here we go, guys. Moving in. After you've done all those chores right there, you can go to the Castilla City Gym. And uh, before you even get in there... Uh-oh. Bam! Somebody comes out. Hey, Draven, I just challenged the, Kist or the gym leader, Berg. Uh, he's a seasoned gym leader. He made me work for that gym badge. But for me, Bug-type Pokemon aren't much of a challenge. I'm going to keep winning like the... like. Or I'm going to keep winning like this against all of, all of the Junova gym, uh, region gym leaders. Then I'll head for the Pokemon League and I'll perform the champion. If I do that, everyone will admit that I am the strong trainer that I am. That will make me feel truly alive. Okay, well, whatever, I, I guess. Okay, well, now, whoa, 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 hold on, what the hell? Aha! You are the one who fought Team Plasma in, T in Pinwheel Forest. If I remember, your name is Draven. Come to or come to ch or come to challenge the gym, I suppose. Ah, oh, sorry, but could you wait a bit? I was out. I was informed that Team Plasma has shown up. In fact, come with me. I'm going to the dock at uh, Prime Pier. Ah, oh, crud. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go straight to Prime Pier just to take care of business right there. Yeah. Now, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, Prime Pier is probably like the middle pier or something. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Let's go right here. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Yes, I'm wrong. Okay, so it's the middle of it. So let's go right ahead and go into the other area right here. Do 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 do. And uh, let's see, going down here. And here we are. Oh, Prime Pier, there it is. And uh, Bianca's right there. Come on, this way. Oh damn. And uh, well, Team Plasma, they took this young lady's Pokemon. Bianca's a little, a little angry. Bianca's a little angry. Draven, is there anything we can do? My Muna! Team Plasma took it! And this unknown lady is like, I heard this lady scream and I ran after the thief as fast as I could! But this city is so big and crowded, I'm afraid I lost them! Iris is like, or Berg's like, Iris, you did everything you could. Iris, well... But that's so bad! Taking people's Pokemon is really bad! Because it's really, well, it's really nice then when people and Pokemon are together. They each have something uh, the other doesn't, and they help each other out. Huh. Iris. Agreed. No fear, we will get that Pokemon back. Right, Draven? Y I guess, yeah, sure. Having said that, finding a person or a Pokemon here in Castelli City will be fi like finding a needle in a haystack. And uh, out of nowhere. Oh, crud. Here we go. I spy a gym leader. Last time we went so well, oh, last time we went so well, I thought I'd grab another Pokemon. Rethinking. I need to get out of here. Oh, he's getting out of here. Okay, so where do we need to go? Holy crud, okay. Draven, let's go! Iris, you stay by the young lady's side. Huh, okay, okay, uh, and a young lady right here is, uh, well, I'm gonna be Bianca's bodyguard, so you go after those bad guys, okay? Eh, okay, sure, why not? Uh, of course, Bianca is also a gym leader. But in Pokemon Black, I don't think it's our gym leader. I've never faced Bianca before. Of course, she is annoying too, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go find Berg, and there he is. And uh, Berg's looking around, he's like, that way! Mm-hmm, they're headed toward, toward the gym! Well, let's go straight to the gym right here. Alrighty, so let's go straight to the gym. And people are just texting me right now, every single time. So let's go straight to the gym. And as you can see, Berg is waiting for us right here. And uh, this is definitely the place. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. No one's here. Not a soul. No other Team Plasma members, nor any of the Seven Sages are inside. If you think I'm lying, why why don't you have a little battle and find out? Okay. Ah, I, I, I had thought. I'll take care of this weak looking runt so you can uh, show off by handling handing uh wait handling that tough looking guy over there. Oh, okay. Well, it's me. He's talking to me, not you, Berg. Oh please, Draven, 
I'll leave you the the one right here. Okay. So he's going two on one. Alrighty. So here we go. Let's get it. Alrighty. So we're gonna be going up against a Team Plasma member, and he will be coming with a Sandile right here. Alrighty. Sandile, not so much of a of a of a of a, of a challenge right now. So let's go ahead and use that Metal Claw. See if this works against this guy. There we go. And uh, oh crud. Here comes an assurance. Let's go again. Metal Claw. For the win. There you go. That's how you do it. And uh, he's going to be coming out with another sand dust. So let's just continue on right here with Drillmonger. Drillmonger will destroy everybody right here. So here we go. Metal Claw. For the win. Not so much. But here comes a, uh, a Rock Tomb. Good God. Good God. And, uh, oh, God. There is a, uh, yeah, the Sand Tomb is, uh, is pretty much like a Sandstorm. But here we go. Metal Claw. Yeah, buddy. And that's how you do it right there. Drillmonger grows to level 22, finally. And it's finally learning Home Claw, so, uh... Ah, oh, jeez. I want to keep... You know what? It only... Uh, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and take away Fury Swipes. Just because of the boost up right here. And, uh... Well, there we go. Home claws for the win right there. Alrighty. Come on! Seriously, all I did was take away people's Pokemon! Oh, well. Yeah. So, Team Plasma is like, this is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad for Team Plasma, or Plasbad, for short. It's in my best interest to go report to the Seven Sages right now. Oh, damn. Okay, so they're going to the Seven Sages. So, you mean to tell me they were there? This guy was lying to me. Whew. We got lost. Even with the directions from the, uh, the cross transceiver, I couldn't figure it out. Team Plasma's inside. The stolen Pokemon may be in there as well. Okay, I'm going in. Alrighty. Okay, well. Uh, no, Iris, go away. Okay, this time I'll join the fight. Come on, Bianca, you too! Wait! Draven, you come too! Okay, well. We can do that. We can do that. Alright, so, uh, let's see. We're gonna be, uh, taking on some Team Plasma members. And, and as you can see, they, they have, uh, quite a few people there waiting for us. So, I'm going to finish this guy, these guys off with one Pokemon right here. Sigh of the Torrent. Because we've been missing him for quite some time. And so, once you come in here, Gets is like, My word, if it isn't the gym leader, Berg. So, what's, uh, so what would you say is the guiding principle of Team Plasma anyways? Take what you, uh, take what you want from people? Bronius is like, I thought that it would be amusing to prepare a hideout right in front of uh, the Pokemon gym. But we were, we were detected more quickly than I had imagined. Indeed. No matter. We already have exceptional base of operations. Is everyone familiar with the legend of the founding of the founding of the Unova region? Nope, not me. Well, Iris, the know-it-all, says I am. It's the black poke, uh, the black uh, dragon type Pokemon, right? Hmm. Okay. The truth is, the black Pokemon, uh, the black dragon, uh, appeared before a hero who sought the ideal way to knit together a a world full of warring Pokemon or warring people. This black uh, dragon Pokemon shared its knowledge and barred its fangs at those who stood against it. Together, the power of the of this Pokemon and the hero brought unity to the hearts of uh, everyone in the land. And that is how Unova was created. Oh damn. Okay. We shall bring back the hero and that Pokemon, you know what? Or that Pokemon to Unova once again. If we win people's hearts and minds, we can easily create a world that I, I mean, Team Plasma desires. Oh, damn. Damn, this guy's got, like, he's, he's kind of creepy right here. But he's like, here in Castilia, we have a lot of different kinds of people. Everyone's ways of thinking and lifestyles were very different. Honestly, there's something about, there's something about what you're saying I don't quite understand. And everybody's like, yes, what is it? One thing we all have in common is uh, we all care a lot about Pokemon. Even people uh, meeting for the first time can talk about Pokemon. Talk or battle or trade. Remember your speech at the Accumulated Town? You were responsible for leading me to, the, to rethink my relationship with the Pokemon. For that, I thank you. At that time, I made a, I made a promise. I swore to myself that I would uh, dedicate myself to Pokemon even more strongly. What you... 
what you guys are doing. Aren't you going to strengthen the bond between people and Pokemon even more? Guess is like, ha ha ha. You're quite hard to figure out. A little more intelligent than I'd expected. I am fond of intelligent people, you see. You'll enjoy hearing about this. From every corner of the world, I had gathered knowledgeable people for our king's benefit. You could call them the Seven Sages. Very well. We will submit to your opinion and be on our way. That girl over there, return her Pokemon. And uh, it's another Muna. Why? What, what, what is it with the Munas? The hell? What is it with Munas that these guys want? Like they got a Muna fetish or something? I don't even know. She's like, thank you. Mooney, I'm glad to see you again. And of course, Bianca. Why are you thinking them? They take people's uh, precious Pokemon. It's just, I'm, I'm just so happy that my Muna is safe. The friendship between Pokemon and people can be very touching, but in order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will revive the legend of Unota and win the hearts and minds of everyone. Farewell. Oh, damn. So we got some stuff to do right here. We got some shit to do right here. Iris is like, what are you doing? Why are you letting them get away? Gah. What do we do? Uh, what do we do if anything's happened to uh, other Pokemon or to the other uh, stolen Pokemon? Uh, it's okay. Thank you, Iris. No, ma no one's hurt. More than anything, I got my darling Pokemon back again. Okay, if you're happy. What is everyone planning to do now? Well, I'm planning on battling you. Bianca's like, oh, I was uh, said it would be sensational to look around Castelia City, but ah, oh, crud. Here we go again. Don't worry. I'll keep, I'll keep being your bodyguard. Iris, um, uh, that's great. Uh, Iris is a dazzling Pokemon trainer. Maybe not at home in the uh, big city yet. So a little give and take. Hmm. People and Pokemon need to give uh, to help each other out. Also, thanks for looking for the Pokemon. Here, this is for you. And we get ourselves a Yaki Berry or Yachi, Yaki or Jachi. I don't even know. Yaki Yachi. I don't even know. For whatever. See ya. Okay. Well. Uh, what? Wait. Wait. Okay, what, 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 whatever. And Berg's like, well then, Draven, I'll be waiting in the gym. Alright, so before we leave, we gotta grab this item right here. As you can see, a smoke ball has been found, and that's always great. That's always good right there. So, smoke ball, smoke ball is always great for, you know, avoiding, or for, you know, avoiding Pokemon battles, wild Pokemon battles, and all that stuff. So, here we are, guys, the Castelia City Gym. We will be in this gym in the next episode, getting our, what was it, our third badge, yes. Third badge and all. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.